And we begin with two cases involving appalling injuries to young children, both out of Bear County. In the first case, a two year old was found shot in the leg. Now, conflicting stories were given to investigators, but these two people were arrested. Courtney Freeman with what we know about this case. It was Friday night when deputies got to the Montage apartment complex on FM 78 in Converse to find 22 year old Nashley Lampon next to a car with a severe head injury. She jumped onto a car and fell off or she was hit. Sheriff Javier Salazar says his deputies were then handed a two year old boy whose bandaged leg shockingly revealed a gunshot wound, allegedly from earlier in the evening. My understanding is the baby suffered uh, a leg fracture. Witnesses gave conflicting stories, but Salazar Salazar says right now they're going with the most complete version. There was a gun laying very near where the two year old was, and the information is that the baby picked up the weapon and somehow shot himself in the leg. Salazar still doubtful and infuriated. They're more concerned with partying with each other and covering for each other and getting high, getting stoned. Uh, and they lose track of the fact that a baby's alone in a room with a gun, if that's the case. Two men from the party were arrested. 21 year old Colby Sullivan was charged with making a firearm accessible to a child injury to a child by omission and tampering with evidence it attempted to sanitize the crime scene. In other words, they may have cleaned up any blood evidence. 25 year old Lorenzo Williams was arrested for failure to ID to a peace officer. He gave us a fake name out there. He was more concerned with protecting himself than, than helping us with with this baby that had been shot. One witness did mention an argument at the party. If at some point we find that somebody shot this baby uh, either intentionally or meant to shoot somebody else and accidentally shot the baby, whatever that may be, I promise you we'll be upgrading charges to whatever it is that we can. Lampon and her two year old son are still hospitalized. She has not been charged with anything, but that could change. And as investigators shore up the story they were given, they're reminding families to lock up their guns, especially with kids in the house. Courtney Friedman, KSAT 12 News.